pitches. Here we go. First at bat for Valparaiso. First pitch of the ball game is strike one. Here we go. Second pitch comes from Zach Dubos. That one is to the left for strike two. Number seven, Bendel is now 2 0. 2 now. My bad. This one's going to be a ball. One and two the count. Dobos with the pitch. This one's a ground ball. Did get to it. And that one's going to bounce. And Kobe Hoffman couldn't handle that one. That's going to be a base hit. Hard bounce on that play. Bendel for Valpo really made that hard play to make and got that one. So Valpo's well, got one on. Well, credit to him for running all the way to first base, give, giving it all that effort. Here we go. It's Nick, it's Nick Caputo. Bang second. We're on first, and the count immediately 0 1. And he tried to bunt it. That one went foul, and, the, and it's a 1 1 count. Doubles, they're a little concerned about first base, understandably. That one hit hard to left field. You got a man there. Left field taken, taken over there. One out. That's Ronnie Mori coming up here for Valpo. We're on our first one out, count one and oh, here in the top of the first inning. A little windy today. It's coming, coming into left field. Well, compared to a lot of the weather we've had today, or, or recent months in Indiana, we'll take a day like this any day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's pretty pretty good day for baseball. Everything's going to be going a little left, knocking some things down today. That's strike two. One, two count for number 26. Ground ball to the shortstop, Connor Thompson. That gets it to Justin Graves. Graves to first, and he got the double play. And gets like Central out of the Yang. Looked like Valpo's bench was not too happy with that call at first base. Yeah, nice play by Connor out there, getting that ball, turning that play real quick. And after one ring of play, the third guy's nothing. And Lake Central coming to bat. Yep, we got Lopez, Graves, and Tomasic coming up. We'll see what they can do. Giovanni Lopez and Connor Thompson are actually going to college to play baseball. Giovanni Lopez is committed to South Suburban, and Connor Tomzik is a commit to Purdue Northwest. Yeah, it's great. We have a lot of seniors on this team this year, and it's really showing. I mean, good baseball happening here. We have that leadership aspect of a lot of seniors on your team. So, But we do know that last year they did lose a lot of seniors but that does not seem to affect this team at all. Nope, we got a lot, of, a lot of guys stepping up like Graves and Tomasic, and it's just, it's been a season.
here we go. It's Giovanni Lopez, as mentioned before. He has committed to South Suburban College to play baseball there after his high school career. Pitch. First pitch strike. Here we go, second pitch of the at-bat. That one hit high in the infield. And Valpo will come up with that one. One out. As Giovanni Lopez pops out. It's Justin Graves coming up for Lake Central. And he takes this one high for ball one. One oh pitch. And that one is taken left for strike one. This one's grounded to third just base. Stuck out his hands. See if he can beat it out. And that one is safe. Pure hustle from him there. Good play, good play. Great, great hustle by Justin Graves. Yeah, really put the pressure base. on him. Here we go, shortstop Connor Tomzik, the senior. Takes the first pitch for ball one. Pretty short lead from Likes Graves there. Maybe not short enough for pitchers like it. It's important to mention last night Lake Central was able to beat Valpo. Both the JV and varsity team got a win. And Lake Central is going to be looking for a repeat performance of that tonight. That one taken left for ball two. Two a pitch. That one's hit hard in the left. No one's gonna get there. Cause that's out of play. Two one count for Connor Tomsek, runner, runner at first with one out. Ooh, high Has throw! First, just enough stretch in Falbo's first baseman, and runner on one. And he runs He's to going. second, and no throw there. there. Justin Graves with a steal. Runner at second, 3-1 pitch. That one hit in the center field. Looks like Tomzik is going to tag, excuse me, Justin Graves. He's going to get to third with ease. Great play by there, Graves. Just waiting for that ball to come down and just really hustling and making that play. Here we go is Ray Hilbert. Senior. That one's lying to left. Ooh, just a little out and hitting a couple cars on the way. 
I certainly won't want to be the owner of that car. <laughs> I parked mine a little, little bits away, Giovanni. <laughs> That's uh, like round to the right, and he's out. So after one inning of play, no score. We do appreciate you tuning into this game tonight, and if you'd like to see more from this YouTube channel, Tribe TV uploaded every week. Every Friday, usually. Be sure to check that out. New episode coming out this Friday. That's some great work. I'm usually on the publication side, so seeing all the work that LCTV does is really awesome. You guys do some great stuff. Well, well thank you, Sam. Speaking of like Central Publications Week, like, like Central got nominated by the state of Indiana for Quiver being a finalist. Yes, in for not for the pacemaker, um, for the Indiana High School Press Association. So, so a big shout out to them. That's very exciting. We had a couple local yearbooks in the region also get that honor. So it's always good to be in company of Northwest Indiana yearbooks and high schools. As we get set for the top of the second inning. And that one is low and away for ball one. Pitch for Dobis. in there for strike two. That one is low for ball two. Good block by Lopez though. He kind of dropped his body down on that ball, didn't let go anywhere, and it's a mark, marks of a good catcher. And that's a strike and a strikeout for Zach Dubos. Yeah, good job on pulling that pitch in. It was just on that corner, and when you get that corner, you just got to take it. So, got a strikeout for Dobis. Great way to start the inning. And that one is line foul. Speaking of safe places not to park. one pitch it's taken low see another great save by Lopez except for that last pitch Dobas has been keeping it pretty low today it's a little windy and one's finally kind of blowing in a little bit but no one hit in the center field and it's gonna be a base hit for Valpo So what man on for Valpo here in the top of the second inning? And Dobis. Play three at bat. That one hit foul. Tries to go to first. Nothing going. Well, that's a little bit concerned on that runner at first, and 
Just want to make sure he wasn't too far off the bag. Here we go, 1-1 one, one count. And that one is high for ball two. Got a big lead on first coming. Just getting a good jump on the ball. I expect some action, just a little bit. Wouldn't be surprised if we try going to first again. Decides not to. That one. Here's ball three. And that one is a strike. Three, two count. Signs of a pretty mature pitcher from Dobas. Kind of looking at first, but not too overly concerned and just focusing on that batter. And another strikeout, and he can't believe it. Valpo has certainly not got the officials' favor tonight, or in their favor. Or the umpires, I should say. First pitch, that was taken high and away for ball one. One our first with two outs here in the top of the second inning. That one lighted to right field. Nice little blooper there from Valpo. He's gonna get to third. And runners at the corners with two outs. Great at bat. Here goes Gunnar Polis for Valpo. Dobas facing the bottom of the order now. That one in the left field. And it is caught. Center field taking leadership out there and it is still nothing in the bottom of the second. Coming up. Well, as a veteran before, this Lake Central team, there's one thing I laugh at, they don't like its leadership. They have 10 seniors this year. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, the senior Giovanni Lopez actually played football this past year for Lake Central, and he got all DAC wide receiver. That's great for him. I mean, he's got two, port two sports under his hat. I mean, it's great. Come up for LC, we have Hunter Zahorski, Con Connor Hoffman, and Jared Bias as our DH for Zach Dobas. That's Connor Zahorski coming up for Lake Central. Excuse me, Hunter Zahorski. as he takes the ball. Swing and a miss right there, and it's a 
That's 1-1. One, one. Going to the left field, down the left field line. Chance for two. And he's in the second base. Just a nice hit from Hunter there. I mean, right down the line. Can't ask for anything more, especially on a little bit of a windy day. And it's the first baseman, Connor Hoffman, another senior for this team. Coming up, has a chance to possibly drive him in. We do have a pitch here coming in for Lake Central. That's number 22, Jake Dystra, the junior. Lake Central trying to get some speed on the bases. And that one is taken for a strike. Oh, one pitch. That one's going to miss, but that one gets away. And, from Hoffman. Oh, here we go. He's going, He's going to one. try and go going for home. home. And he is safe. Jake Dystro drives in the first run of the game for Lake Central. And it looked like the catcher was trying to go to that ball. He went a little bit too slow at it, and Jake Dystro took advantage of it. And that is exactly why they put, they put him on the bases very fast. Yeah, he just went for it. If he would have hesitated, would have been... A little closer, maybe he wouldn't even made it, but just kept on going with it, and Indians are up by one now. As you mentioned, he did not stop at all. There was no hesitation from him. He had no doubt in his mind that he was going to get get home safely with his speed. Pitch. That one is foul.
Joe Wells to come up for Big Temple. Check out his last at bat. We'll see what he can do now. Good advance that runner though by Evan Hand. Got a runner at third. No for one out. So go ahead and start your tour on yeah, that one. And a right. Right to a ball. Got the job done. Got a close play. And, and he is safe at home. 2 nothing lead for Lake Central.
And that's a strike. Pitch. That one popped into the infield. Going on the third base side. And the shortstop makes the catch for out number one. One out here, bottom of the fifth. With Ray Hilbert up to. Looks like we're ready to start the top of the sixth inning. 2-0 Lake Central against these Bobo Vikings. Nick Caputo up to bat. He's their second batter of the day. And that one got away from Lopez. That's going to be a strike. Like Central, not too happy about that call there. And that one down the left field line. And it's going to go foul. Central Sport News, Lake, Lake Central softball team actually has a game going on right now against Portage. Softball team off to a 13 and two start this year. Yeah, they are a good softball team this year. I know a lot of people on the team. And it's coming right towards our press box. <laughs> Got our blood pumping a little bit there, Giovanni. But yeah, softball team up to Great, great start. They got a lot of seniors on that team. I know a lot of girls on that team, and good chemistry on that team. That's what it takes sometimes, and good playing. And they're one of the top-ranked teams in the state. 
so we definitely do expect a lot of things out of him. That one's up the middle for a base hit. That one. Buffalo Bench starting to get really excited. That one brushing Dobas just a little bit. As for Lake Central, they're getting their bullpen ready. Number 14, Brock Bagesha, the sophomore, getting ready to potentially come into this game. Brock Bagesha, this is his first year on varsity as a sophomore. I'm sure it's a very big deal for him. Dove was not too worried about that man on first, just pitching to the batter right now and 2-0 count here. And that's ball three. So he's got the catbird, see three and oh. Hunter Hoffman out there, having a little chat with Dobas. One thing and you cannot back. afford to have here is a walk and have runners on first and second. And a uh, walk. So runners at first and second, nobody out. And you gotta wonder if they're gonna bring in Brock Bagesha out of the bullpen. And like Central calls time. Yeah, those inside outside corners have been kind of a night and day thing for the umpires today. Mark Central does have to lead two nothing, but I'm sure it's gotta be a little bit frustrating for them. They had bases loaded with nobody out in the third inning and they couldn't do anything with it. Excuse me, in the second inning. I'm sure if you give up some runs here, you go look back at that and say that you really should have scored some runs there. Yeah, I got the go-ahead runner right here right now. I mean, it's baseball. Anything can happen. Hopefully Dobis can get this out and get out of this inning. first pitch and he tried to bunt it and they're gonna go back to second base and he's gonna be safe. Good throw by Lopez. Good heads up play Didn't right there him. by him. Good pitch by Dovis there too. That 0-1 count. Runners on two and one and Lake Central leading two nothing. Top of the sixth. It's gonna bunt. And he bobbled the ball, but he's able to get the out at first base, but great play for Valpo as they're able to get runners on second and third. Runners in scoring position with only one out. And it'll be interesting to see what Lake Central does here. That was a hard play by Joe Wells. Had to come a long way, but he went bobbling a little bit, just made that play at first, and we'll see what Number 23 does at this at bat. We're in the middle of the order right now. Valparaiso and the pitch is coming. That one hit straight back. Oh, one count here, one out. Let's see if Zach, Zach Dubas can get out of this inning. Good pitch. And swing and a miss there. 0-2 count. And that was a strike, and he strikes Close him out. And Two outs now for Lake Central. Close enough for the umpire there. One of those pitches that could have gone either way, and it was in Zach Dovis' favor. So we got two outs here, top of the sixth. Do 
Dubos gets the first pitch in there for strike one. That'd be great for Lake Central if they can get out of this inning with no runs. And just great pitching by Dobis there. Get out oh, of the that inning. One's high. Getting just a little close to number five out there. Last thing you want here is for them to get an easy run because of the ball getting away from the catcher. This one in the center field. He's going to throw it to his cutoff man, Connor Hoffman. And, is and Valpo cuts the lead down to one. That's a good hit by Valpo out there. It's a nice laser shot. and. Can't do much about that, Giovanni. And a good job by Evan Hand getting that ball in quickly, preventing Valpo from scoring a second run there. And, a, and Valpo will bring on a pitch runner. At first base, so runs at the corner is two outs. So it's not too concerned about those runners there. Just getting that batter again. And high. Four ball one. Here with two outs, bottom of the sixth inning. Or top of the sixth inning, excuse me. Two well count. <sighs> and he checks his swing. Ooh, he thought about it. He's going to yeah, say nothing. he didn't go. Yeah, he did a good job of keeping his hands in there, not taking that bat out too much. And 3 0 -oh count, two outs now. Let's see what Dobas can do. And he walks him. So the base is loaded, two outs here in the bot or excuse me, top of the sixth inning. I'll see having a little bit of trouble with that last out here. And again, Brock Bagesha been warming up with the bullpen this whole inning. Let's see if they decide to bring him in. Chance yeah, one thing to take else. the lead here for Valpo. One thing LC has been doing this whole game is having a really loud and active bench out there, communicating their players on the field, having everyone know what to do, and it's showing. You may or may not be able to hear the Valpo crowd right below us. <laughs> Certainly a very passionate group of players about their baseball team. And that is ball three, and for the third time this inning, it's a 3-0 count for Zach Dubis. And Lopez having a little, little chat with him right now, hopefully. Get a couple strikes out here and get out of this inning. I'm sure Hunter Zahorski just trying to calm down a little bit on, on 3 Excuse out. me, that catcher's been Hunter Zahorski this whole game. I've been saying it's Lopez, so I, I apologize. Rookie mistake. Yeah. And another walk. <sighs> And um, Valpo ties the game at two. And if I'm like Central, you really got to start thinking about your bullpen. Brock Bagesh has been warming up in there for a while. Yeah. Zach Central Dubas. Does not want to see that right now. Has gone five and two innings. You really got to start thinking about it. Yeah, that's a strike. Pitch by Dobis. You just got to get out of this inning.
another strike. That one hit over his head down the left field line. That's gonna score a pair. Gets it to Tomzik, and Valpo takes a 4-2 lead. Valpo really bringing that energy right now. Hopefully, Central can get out of this pretty soon. All those runs on a two out. And two outs. looks like he'll come out here. So Dubas, after very good outing, gives a full run to the top of the sixth inning. And now the sophomore Brock Bakesha will check into the game. Valpo is taking the lead, 4-2, two. two outs here in the top of the sixth. Number 14, Brock Gasha coming out to pitch. And this Valpo bench is ecstatic. <laughs> Let's see what the sophomore Brock, Brock Bagesha could do see if he can finally get him out of this inning. Rose at second and third, two outs. It's a strike. That's a face in the top of the order here. Vendel up. And he swings and at that one. Oh, two count here, two outs, and two and three occupied for Valpo. Lake Central really does need to get out of this inning here and try to score some runs in the final two innings. That one hit right behind him. That one made it all the way to the track right behind us. Oh, two count for Bagesha. Pitch, and that one is right on the outside. And the umpire calls it a ball. Yeah, close pitch there. Nothing low on that. And that one is low. A good block by Zahorski there. How is Zahorski able to get that one in his reach? It's called a ball, so full count with two outs. Runners at second and third. Valpo has a chance to extend their lead. And the ball's away. And he walks him. So once again, base is loaded with two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. And this has been an inning to forget for Lake Central. Yeah, just need to play right here now, Giovanni. Just a little something. All these runs, but on two outs, it's a little hard to see, quite honestly. That one hits the shortstop, and he gets to play at second. 
And we will head to the bottom of the sixth inning. They get a crooked number up on that board, and it is 4-2 Valpo. Lake Central has some work to do here. They've got Hunter Sahorsky up. He had a double. That's nice first at bat, and we'll see if we can bring that energy again starting off. If you're just tuning in, it is 4 2 ball game. Valpo just reclaimed the lead in this top of the sixth, and Lake Central is coming up to bat with Hunter Sahorsky, Connor Hoffman, and Jared Baez up to bat. So we're ready. We got Hunter Zahorski. Lake Central going to need a big inning here. So they're down 4 2, heading into the bottom of the sixth inning. Bottom of the order for Lake Central. And that's ball one. That one is popped up. Calls for it, and he gets the out. And Zahorski is one and three for the day. And he didn't look too happy walking back to the bench. It's Connor Hoffman will come up for Lake Central. Left-handed. Has single his first at bat. And at his last at bat, he grounded out to first. That one is tip foul. So an early 0-2 count here for Connor Hoffman. This one taken high for ball two, or for, excuse me, ball one. That one gets away from him. Hoffman evens up the count right here. It's a 2-2 two -two count with one out and the bottom of the six. Facing a two-run deficit. That one down the left field line. That one's going to go foul. Let's see what damage I can do to a car. Ooh, I heard that one up here. And that one hit Right to the side on the sofa car in the parking lot. Again, you know what risk you take when you park there. So <laughs> that one's taken inside, and it's a full count. And he walks him. So Lake Central gets a run around first base with one out. I'd like to give a th special thank you to our production team, director Tyler Ferreiter and our, the graphics made for tonight's game, Jacob Kutcher and Marcus Rochard. Can't thank them enough for making those and giving people like me and Sam the opportunity to be up there, to be up here and doing something we love. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's a beautiful day for baseball too, gotta say. And Sam, it is your first time up here tonight. Yes, it is. I've watched baseball for a long, long time. Shout out at the TV, and they gave me a headset, so <laughs> it's a fun time. Well, I've done my fair share of uh, screaming towards televisions over the years, so. Oh, yeah, especially with the White Sox, how they've been. Uh, a little bit of screaming, a little bit of yelling. The 
And that one hit in the center field. It's a can of corn. Is Evan Hand, center fielder for Lake Central. Yep. He is 0 for 2 today with one walk and a ground out to second. That one hit in the left field. And that's over the head of the shortstop. So runners are first and second with two outs. And the tying run will er, and the and the leading run will come to the plate. Yeah, Wells is due today. He's 0 for 2. He had a strikeout, a first at bat, and a fly out a second at bat. So be good to see something right about now. And that one hit in her center field. That's routine play. And we will head to the top of the seventh inning. 4-2 Valparaiso. I'd like to thank our audience for tuning into this live stream tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more live streams just like this. As Friday, the Lake Central Indians will take on the Munster must Monster Mustangs, always a great game. Oh yeah, for your viewing pleasure before, LCTV, new episode Friday. Yep. Check it out on this same channel. LC looking to hold here. 4-2 lead for Valpo and looking for a quick inning and hopefully a long second half of that. Hopefully tie it up and get this game going. Indians out hit Valpo today, eight to six hits. I'll see with one error and the deficit as we head into the top of the seventh. with the third batter coming uh, up for Valpo here. And Valpo looks to add under their lead here in the top of the seventh. Brock McGesher will try to get another out. And the count quickly 2-0. And he's able to get that one in there for a strike. Valpo has got two guys in the bullpen right now. This pitch taken high and a walk. Not an ideal way to start this inning here. Wanted to be quick. Never good to give up, give a walk on that first first batter here. And Lake Central looking for a one, two, three, or as close as they can get right now. No, now the goal is, has, has to be to get a double play here. He try to check his swing. And they will to strike. The sending Lopez leads off for the Indians, and, and they're the outside the order. And the count now zero and two. That one far and away. 
a good play on that ball by Hunter Zahorski, just holding on to it and keep it in front of him. The pitch. And that one in the dirt. Again, great block by Zahorski there. Keep it in front of him, especially with that guy at one. It's been a close, close game here. Top of the seventh with Indians trailing two. And that one's high. And a full count. And another walk. A little bit of a surprise, Lake Central's bullpen not going right now. So runners are first and second, no outs. And home plate umpire having a little chat with head coach Schwartz and Tuber right there. And here we go. And that one is tip right to the back. And the count now 0 1. Two go, one pitch, and that one taken inside for a ball one. Lake Central still looking for their first tie here in the top of the seventh inning. That one right off the bat. It's a walkout or a pitch out, excuse me. Two two count here with no outs. And he gets a strikeout. Much needed there for Brock Bagesha and one out. I'll see facing that middle of the lineup right now, a little bit towards the bottom, and I'd like to see two more retired and get out of the inning. Four Lake Central. And uh, let's see if Hoffman can make a play on it. He would make one earlier, and he gets the second out of the inning. And a good play by Hoffman there, just. Tracking the ball down, good communication between catcher and first base. That could have been either of them. And good communication has really been a good thing for this defense this year. That one outside for ball one. That one up and away for ball two. So nice foul for nice foul for bench right here. Certainly not afraid to let the pitcher hear it. Yeah, good energy from both sides today. Bopo really's started to bring it though. And yeah, it is a DAC matchup. Yeah. Those are always always a little loud, always good. And I'm sure both teams, one of the top players on this list for this season is to try and win that this year. That one pops up. 
And finally some activity in the Lake Central bullpen. Number 11, Doug Viznak, senior. Might potentially come to the game. And Lake Central pitches out of that inning. So Lake Central, bottom of the seventh inning, down 4-2. And this is it for them. LC needs two runs to tie and three to win. At the top of the order here, coming up, we have Giovanni Lopez, we have Justin Graves, and we have Connor Tomasic. If All guys that have shown they can run the bases, which is what Lake Central is going to need here. Lopez up right now. He's 0 for 3 for the day. He is due, and he got a walk his last at bat. And he was thrown out at second. So see what the Indians can do right now. They are chasing two runs. And that wind is just coming down just a little bit and it's turning into a pretty nice night. Giovanni Lopez coming for Lake Central. And ball one. And that one hand side for ball two. He gets a strike. And we did see two weeks ago against Crown Point, Lake Central was able to get a walk-off victory. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Yep, magic numbers two, Giovanni. Tie it up and hopefully bring in some extra win innings or make it a little quick and get three. And the game against Crown Point did go nine innings. So Lake Central might have to stay out here a little bit longer. Don't want to get a win well. today. We will be here along with them. I'm all for free baseball. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful day for it, too. If it was a little rainier and windier and colder like it was last week, maybe it'd, we'd be a little hesitant. That one hit towards the right field line, and it goes foul. Full count. Bottom of the seventh inning. Valpo has a 4-2 lead. Lopez looking to make some damage here. No one hiding away, and Giovanni Lopez will take will take his base. Graves two and three today. He had two singles and was thrown out last inning. Yeah, and Justin Great, and looks like they have a mound visit with their pitcher. Come out of the game here. Yeah, and a good outing by Valpo. Got a handsome. Good pitching. And really kind of kept those runs from scoring, though. Got a little, a little worrying for Valpo. Had bases loaded and Lake Central, and they. And you certainly got to look back it. at the bottom of the second inning when Lake Central had the bases loaded and nobody out when they could not score a single run. If you lose this game, you gotta look back at that and beat yourself up for it. And once again, they only have a day of rest as Friday the Mustard Mustangs come here to take on the Lake Central Indians.
And coming on to try and uh, seal this win for Valpo is Nick, excuse me, Nick Caputo. The name sounds familiar. He was at second base at the start of this game and he is coming into pitch. Let's see if he can close out this game for Valpo. It'll be a great boost for Valpo to get a win on Lake Central's home field. Yep, and Caputo will be facing Justin Graves here as we resume play. Justin Graves. That one is low in a way, and that almost got away from the catcher. So the tying run up to bat. Lake Central is trailing 4-2 in the bottom of the seventh. If you've just tuned in. And that one strike. Does the count one and one? Lake Central certainly needs something here from Justin Graves. That one's taken high and inside for ball two. That one hit right behind us. And just a little bit foul, and and he strikes him out. One out here, bottom the seventh, with one runner on base. Connor Thomas six up to bat, and he is one and three today. His second at bat, he had a had a hit, had a single, and now take the first pitch for ball one. And there's a strike. Take that one for ball two. We just tuned in. Lake Central is trying to come back from a hard sixth inning. Valpo had four runs in that inning, and they're looking to come back. And that one hit right over the press box. Looks like a lucky fan will go towards that ball. is high and it's a full count and that one right off the end of the bat full count and Tom six fight now he's full count battle back and just keeps on fighting with one out bottom the seventh Need some hits now for the Indians.
that one hits a, hits a shortstop. And they're not going to get him at first as the game goes on. Times are able to run that one out. Two outs here for Lake Central. Ray Hilbert is up and he is 0-3 today. He is due. Be a great time for him to have a good at bat here. And that one's inside for ball one. That one hits to the right side. Tags on first base and Valpo wins the game four to two. And Lake Central had a very rough sixth inning and that ended up being the deciding factor in this game. So for Lake Central, obviously you never wanna lose at home, but can't hang your head too much on this loss. Yeah, it was one hard inning for him. Gateway four to Valpo, and that's the game. Yep. Well, it was a pleasure to do this tonight, today with you, Sam. Uh, thank you all for tuning into this live stream. I'm Javani Alcantara with Play by Play. And I'm Sam Safchak. Thank you all for tuning in, and we will see you this Friday when, when the Muster Mustangs come to Lake Central to take on the Indians. We will see you then.